Hello everyone. So I just wanted to show you a real quick one. First, the uh, VFD motor controller. I wanted to show you that you can also drive transformers with that. And in this one, I'll be driving a ignition transformer from an oil furnace. And what I want to show you, the interesting thing about that is, first of all, the noise that it makes with high frequency, and second of all, what I've done to make it run a fluorescent tube with one wire. So there's one wire there, it goes up, hooks up to the fluorescent tube at the top. At the bottom of the tube, there's a sheet metal scrap which touches the ground. At the other end back here, the other end of the transformer, touches another sheet metal scrap. So basically, the current's flowing through the ground to light the tube and of course through the wire. So first, I'll turn the motor controller on and show you with the lights on what it does. You can start hearing it maybe. 66 hertz, 70 hertz, 80 hertz. There's 200 hertz. I don't know if the camera can see, tiny little arc there, and the tube is lit, and the more we go, the brighter it gets. That's 300 hertz, and that's 400 hertz. Now the interesting part you can really see when the lights are off. So try to do this without shocking yourself with 10,000 volts. Okay, now I know the camera can't see anything, not yet. So let's turn it on. There's the tube just barely. That's uh, about 60 hertz. Let's turn it up. There's about 200 hertz. I'll try to see if the camera can see this, I don't know. But just there, on that piece of sheet metal, there's a lot of corona discharge there. And it looks kind of blue on the camera, but in reality it is very purple. So it's actually having a corona discharge going on with the ground. And the same with the other end, with the tube, which I don't know, it's just barely going to see which again is also purple. Let's crank it up to 400 hertz. You can see that a little bit better maybe. And again at the other end on the tube there. A little bit of corona. And again, it's just an oil ignition transformer, a uh, fluorescent tube, and one wire and a couple of pieces of sheet metal, and the motor controller, of course. 